Hi. It's me again, Dr. Magda Havas. Today we are going to watch a demonstration of ground current in a lab. Do you recall when I mentioned, in a previous video, that electricity can flow along the ground? The concept of electricity flowing through the ground is difficult for some people to imagine, so a good friend of mine offered to help. This is Ralph Frederick. And this is what Ralph really looks like. Ralph, would you like to explain what you did? I started with a wooden box to which I added potting soil, slightly moistened. I then added wooden pegs and attached an LED bulb to the last peg. Next I took a variable transformer that allows me to increase the voltage. I then connected an electrical wire to the transformer, and to the light bulb. The wire in red is the hot wire. The wire in blue is the neutral wire that completes the circuit. When I turn on the transformer the light bulb glows. If I disconnect the neutral, or the return wire, the light bulb turns off. The circuit is now broken as there is no wire to return the electrons to their source. If I take the neutral wire and cut it into two pieces, I can attach one of the two wires to the light bulb and place the end in the moist soil. I can then take the other wire, attach it to the transformer and place the end of the wire into the soil as well. As you can see, the two wires are not touching. When I turn on the transformer, if the light bulb turns on, it means that there is current flowing through the soil. If we could see the electricity, this is what it might look like. There would be a gradient of electrons along the length of the earth table flowing through the moist soil. As many of you may recall from high school physics, opposite charges attract. And like charges repel. The negatively charged electrons are moving along the soil and this creates a current. The definition of a current is moving electrons. There are two important laws that we need to remember. The first is Ohm's law. Current will travel along the path of least resistance. What this means is that current will flow preferentially along conductive material, like metal pipes or wires. The second is Kirchhoff's law. Current will take any and all paths. Current will also flow along a metal fence wet soil, and through animals and people since we are highly conductive. Now, let's return to Ralph's earth table. Ralph did something intriguing. He took copper wire and fashioned it into a person with two legs and connected an LED bulb for the head. When Ralph placed the figure in the soil, its head lit up. This means there is a current flowing through the wire figure, enough of a current to light the bulb. However, when the figure was placed perpendicular to the flow of electricity, the light bulb stayed off. Ralph, can you explain this? Remember that current refers to moving electrons. Electrons move from an area of high potential to an area of low potential. Just like water flowing downhill. The copper figure on the left has an electron gradient between the two copper feet. So electrons flow from high potential to low potential and the current lights the bulb. The copper figure on the right has both feet at the same potential. So there is no electron flow, no current, and the light remains off. If Ralph, or a cow, stood on this earth table, current would flow through both of their bodies, if their feet were at different electrical potentials. Here's a quiz for you. Which Ralph has the most current flowing through his body? Ralph number 1, number 2, or number 3? The correct answer is Ralph number 2. Let me explain. The further apart the feet, the greater the electrical potential difference between the feet. And the greater the flow of electrons. Now, which Ralph has the least amount of current flowing through his body? If you answered number 3, you are correct. Standing on one foot or keeping your feet close together, reduces current flowing through your body. In this case, Ralph number 3 is an open circuit, since only one foot is in touch with the ground. Electrons from the ground are not flowing through his body. By lifting one foot, you can break the circuit. That is why cows, on a farm with ground current, keep lifting their feet. They are breaking the circuit and reducing the electrons flowing through their body. 
Remember when I showed you in the first video what electricity flowing through the ground looks like? Two patterns were evident. The 60 cycle or 60 hertz pattern shown in red. And the thousands of cycles or kilohertz pattern, shown in blue. Ralph did a demonstration of ground current and showed that 60 hertz frequencies can flow through soil. Can higher frequencies do the same? Watch our next video and find out. If you would like to contact Ralph, he can be reached at the email below. I can be reached via my website. Thanks for watching. This was fun. Can hardly wait to do the next video. Ralph, I think the camera is still rolling.